Okay, it's a Sunday. I'm up at um, Devil Bend Reservoir. Um, this is an old water reservoir. We used to use it to, uh, for the peninsula back in the day, but it was superseded when Cardinia came online. Um, there's some nice walking around here. I'm going to go to this Darnjian Point and um, check it out. It's, um, it's a walk I've done in summer where you can swim, but yeah, I'll check it out today and see what it's like. So, there wasn't a lot of planning went into this walk. It's, uh, I'm just going to go and check out a few tracks. There's no real route that I'm going to walk. Probably only walk about two or three k's, I reckon. Um, like I mentioned before at the start, it's a bit windy, so you might not have heard. I, this is a good walk in summer because you can swim in the reservoir nowadays. Um, it's probably not quite swimming weather today, but it's not bad. Um, it's nice for walking. Um, the other thing I did mention, I'm a little preamble. Um, this walk service the Mornington Peninsula back in the day for water. Um, so I'm obviously down on the Mornington Peninsula, near Muradak, I suppose. Um, um, if you're wondering where the, where, where, where the park is. So I've come down there. That's the track on the left there through the pines that heads around the reservoir eventually. That gun goes down to the water. There's a one-way track on my map, but I'm gonna go down there and try and walk along the edge of the lake. That's Dangin Point down that way. So if I have to retrace, I'll come back here. Um, you'd be shocked to know it's as windy as anything. So I probably won't do much talking down when I get into the water because the, the wind is going to be horrific, I think. Okay, so got to the shoreline. There's a fence between me and uh, Dungan Point. So I'm going for that plan B, which was to walk back up to this other track and head out that way. Um, lots of water in the lake at the moment. Could be good, uh, good swimming option soon, I think. All right, I'll, um, I'll fire up again shortly.
that is um well this is the tip of what are we calling it da how are we going Danjian, Danjian, Danjian point um the wind is a bit this side of the point's a little bit more sheltered so hopefully you can hear me So I've just dropped down to the shoreline trail. This is a little fishing pontoon. This little spot here, I'm just behind a, high, behind a tree at the moment, I can walk up to it, is where the local kids do a bit of uh, cliff diving or cliff jumping. But it looks like the parks people have kind of closed it off and called it a revegetation area because they don't want the kids obviously jumping off the cliffs. But I think you could probably swim across from here, across to that that one over there, because the revegetation area is on that side where the walking track is. So looking at that, I haven't been here in summer for a long time, but looking at that, I reckon the kids are um, are um, swimming across to there. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then climbing up and jumping off there, and. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a rule against that yet. Yeah, so this is the shoreline track. This is where they you launch your unpowered boats and there's fishing platforms along here. So it's close to the um, car park. That's the uh, up past this lady. It's a picnic ground. So yeah, I'm almost um, in the car park. I'm almost back. Back at um, back at the car now. It's definitely not a long walk. This one. It's nice enough in its own way though. Okay, well, I'm pretty well back. So what's the dirt? Um, the dirt is, it's a pretty cruisy little walk. Walk about 3.4 k's. Um, it's always pretty busy, particularly on weekends. Uh, a lot of families, which is why I'm doing the video down here. Um, yeah, nice in summer for a swim, I reckon. Um, maybe this time of year, not so good for a swim, but good for a walk. All right, I'll catch up with you later. If you're in the area, maybe check it out. Maybe don't travel all the way from Melbourne just to do it, though.